Well, there's a movement to change the name of a Chapel Hill street because of its connection to a slave owner. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is speaking with Chapel Hill neighbors about what this name change might mean. It's a sign drivers and students pass daily in Chapel Hill. Every day to, uh, when I walk to campus and home. Others like Savi Horn calling Cameron Avenue a street she's lived off of for almost 30 years. A daily reminder of someone, some family historically that committed such grave human rights issues of enslaving people. Residents, including supporters of the project called Change the Names, a movement to replace offensive street signs, are asking the town of Chapel Hill to change the name because of its racial ties to Paul Cameron, a pre-Civil War slaveholder. They and others signed a petition hoping to replace the name in honor of American civil rights activist Polly Murray. Who the streets are named after kind of represents the values of um, the local community. Changing a street name is not as common as you might think. In fact, the town of Chapel Hill tells us the last time they changed a name was here on South Columbia Street. That was about five years ago. I understand the rationale, I think. Um, probably one of the happiest days in Chapel Hill for me was when Silent Sam got torn down. A neighbor says he's worried what his opinion may bring and questions if the change is practical. I think I'm likely in the minority of people who think that it's not practical to to continue to take on initiatives like this. It's just to me not quite practical to always try and get rid of these symbols from the history in the past. Members supporting Change the Name say Cameron Avenue is one of a handful of streets they're asking town leaders to consider, something Horn believes will pave the way to healing. We can do the right thing and set an example for other towns confronting their past. In Chapel Hill, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News.